All right, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, while the other video was uploading, <laughs> I watched Samantha B. <laughs> Samantha, darling, you just stay away from the high school kids. <laughs> yes, you look <laughs> smoking hot in the high school cheerleader's outfit, and that's cool that it fits you. But stay away from the high school boys. <laughs> You're getting a little creepy. Uh, <laughs> and she's a cougar to me. <laughs> I thought for sure I was older. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the uh, the Greeks have been exposed as. <laughs> not being white <laughs> uh, oh, oh. all the poor white supremacists they have nowhere to turn to justify whiteness <laughs> even science and history are against them now <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Wow, she's cute. Uh, Geraldine Garmendia. Is wanting to be my network buddy on LinkedIn. Huh. She's from Calgary, Canada. Do I know you? Huh. All right. Well, Or do you know my ex? And that's why you're trying to connect so that you can spy on me. LinkedIn allows you to spy on me in private so that I never know you're spying on me. So there's no reason to be my friend if you're a spy for my ex. Who I have caught <laughs> spying on me on LinkedIn. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I haven't seen her since. But uh, yeah, she uh, advertises herself as a book author. <laughs> I doubt she's on Amazon. Uh, I can check, I guess. All right, let's check. <laughs> uh, she may go by the pen name of her maiden name, Stephanie. Or she may go by her new married name, because she's not ashamed of that, even though that's a bit weird. <sighs> we'll try her maiden name first. No, they don't have a P. Author. Paul. Nope. She's not going by that name. Uh, at least maybe she hasn't even bothered to try to go on to Amazon. <sighs> yeah, I'm not not seeing her under that name. Stephanie V. Humphrey? No, that's not it. Paris's Pink Shoes? That would be the type of book she would write, but I no, that's not her. Oh, she's got another book. Where is Paris's Purple Boot? <laughs> okay. No, I'm fine. Eh. She hasn't made it that big then. I'm going to do a Google search for her. Humphreys author. Stephanie Humphreys, author of Finding Rose on Goodreads. 
She is on Amazon. What the? American mother and Canadian father. Yep, that's her. Born in Utah. <laughs> At Provo Hospital. Where all the BYU babies are born. Okay. So, she only has the one book? <laughs> Wait, here's Double's Deceit. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. She has a... She's still using her old author photograph from years ago. And Kindle? What, you don't have books? There's paperback. 30 bucks for a paperback? No, dear. No. <laughs> Double deceit. That's now down to 18 bucks. You're not that good. I was the storyteller to the kids, not you. Okay. Family moved often when she was young, and by the time she celebrated her 13th birthday, she had moved 30 times. Oh, the rough life of a poor white Mormon girl. All those different locations gave her ample opportunity to observe people. You didn't observe nothing. Discover interesting characters for her stories. So, yes, I may be a character in her books. <laughs> so, double deceit may be a double entendre. <laughs> age, Stephanie discovered the joy. Okay, so this isn't going to be a comment replies. <laughs> this video is about my first ex. <laughs> the oldest of six children, she had many opportunities to practice her storytelling skills on her siblings. <laughs> That's not how she told it. <laughs> she was complaining about her, both her parents having to work. And so she had to do all the babysitting. <laughs> and she regretted it. <laughs> she filled notebooks with poetry and her brothers, sisters, and neighborhood. She probably stole my poetry. <laughs> She's using my stuff, most likely. And the neighborhood kids all took turns participating in plays, she wrote. She did talk about the plays, yes. <sighs> But her biggest dream was to be a novelist. And when she was married to her oppressive husband, who let her do anything she wanted, she stabbed him in the back and published under her maiden name. <laughs> See? She totally left me out here. She and her husband, Rick, have a combined family. Combined family. She's got three. He's got three. Six children. She still stays involved with the theater by serving on her community's cultural arts board. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It's McGrath. <laughs> yes, they, they've added a, a subdivision or two since I've been there. <laughs> but no, <laughs> I don't think it's grown that much. Uh, let's check. <laughs> Maps, Google. <laughs> Talk about your embellishments. Uh, let's see, McGrath, AB Canada. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. It's still not that big. Hi, uh, the Good Samaritan Society Garden Vista. That's new. McGrath Seminary by the junior high school. There's the post office. Uh, 
Okay. So, yeah, they've expanded north. Oh, man. <laughs> or did the Canadian Post move? Because I thought it was... Where's the fire station here? <laughs> All right, that's better. Wow. Where's the hospital? Home hardware. Copper Leaf Bay. Let's see, hospital, hospital, Genix, hardware, did they do away with the hospital? What the? Yeah, because the hospital's not where it should be. On Hulk Creek, and then this, that's north, so that should be, yeah, because that's the valley area. There's my old home. Diamond Willow Lodge. Yeah, they moved the post office. That's should be the Huh. Okay, so there's been a few things that have been the convenience store. Wink's convenience store. He sold it? It used to be just the store. Oh man. And yeah, that's the that's supposed to be the fire station. What the I just posted the picture of the fire station with the whole new crew. What's going on? Okay, let's see if we can find the hospital. That should be the hospital right there. What is that? Blue Goose gas bar. Okay, and that's still there. What's this? Is that, is that now the name of the hospital? What the? And this is all weird, freaky stuff. I should do a video from the, the thing. Uh, <laughs> let me do that. Well, uh, uh, I'll have to exit out of everything because we're not doing a comment video. So let me stop this and we'll, we'll do a video from the internet. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to finish her. <laughs> okay, uh, she still stays involved in the theater by serving on her community's cultural arts board. <laughs> And she supports literacy. <laughs> I support literacy! <laughs> On the public library board, the library was one room. <laughs> Tiny little room. That was it. <laughs> she always has always used books to escape the pressures of life of her former husband. <laughs> Oh, the poor girl. We sympathize with her and her struggles in that first marriage. <laughs> Explore faraway places and learn new things. <laughs> when, she, <laughs> when she isn't writing, she finally loves to spend time with her family. <laughs> As the, as the kids were like, oh my god, daddy's home, finally! Oh, daddy, save us! <laughs> and so, I have to admit, she is the best sewer in the universe. Uh, but, uh, an embroidery and read. She still lives in Alberta, unless she hasn't bothered to... To, uh, Tracy Hunter Abramson? Why do I recognize you? Okay, no, I don't recognize you. Now that your picture has been blown up. Alright. <laughs> okay. 
So she's got two books to my plus 500. All right, sort by popularity. She's got one credit review for Finding Rose. They gave her five stars. <gasps> four stars. Or four things, and that's... Okay, so one person gave her a five star. Three people gave her four stars for double deceit. Oh, man. And that, that's it. That's all they, I'm, no, I'm not going to be following her. Oh, I'm going to contact her now. I'm going to tell her all about what you're doing, Travis. <laughs> her husband was following me on Facebook. She was following me on LinkedIn. <laughs> so I'm sure they're still following me in some form or fashion, whether it's on my website, whether it's on YouTube. <laughs> Oh man, what a joke. <sighs> Double deceit. That's all of it you could do. Two years, or two books out of all these years. And she failed with her children's books. Where's your children's books that you were writing and submitting for publication back in the day when you were married to me? <sighs> She's got blog posts. Oh, these must be other people's blog posts, I guess. Or no, I guess there are author updates. So she's got a website. Man, Regina Ceroys, Ceroy. Secrets of Lies of Barbara Forte Abate. Yeah, I'm sure that Howardly Contented Life Under the Cover of Night. I bet you that blog post, I need to see that blog post. That's probably revealing what she did to me during the marriage. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is that a book? Oh, that's... The author is Barbara Forte. Okay, she's doing a a, a a book review, I guess. Shumphreys, <laughs> that's your <laughs> you're doing a blog post rather than an actual website, <sighs> and you're. Yeah, her first novel was released in August 2010, that's Finding Rose, and then 2011 was Double Deceit, and she's done nothing since. Isn't there a movie <laughs> about a couple of competing authors who were formerly married? And Yes, that's right, it's Billy, Billy Crystal? Yes, yes. Throw Mama from the Train. No. Yeah. <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> Crisscross. <laughs> you kill her. I kill... <laughs> and she stole his book. <laughs> and he was hating life. <laughs> Except that it's reversed and I'm not rich. <laughs> so something weird happened in the, the comparison. <laughs> Chris Cross. She's posting double deceit as her top thing here. So yes, I'm giving her a, uh, a view for her stats. Oh man, 
you can purchase double deceit here or here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's read the cliff notes of it then. Someone is watching. As a young widow... <laughs> about her abandonment of our marriage as being widowed. <laughs> All Elena Bryant wants is a fresh start. <laughs> Determined to put ten painful years behind her it was only five. <laughs> She returns to her hometown, <laughs> McGrath, and moves in with her sister. Uh, okay, that makes sense, because I remember she had gotten a house across the street from her grandfather, or her father, and uh, that would have been her sister. Okay, so that makes sense. Natalie, Eliana soon accepts a job working at a small bookstore owned by a handsome Ryan Hill uh, and his mother. Yeah, no. <laughs> she was selling dresses uh, at first, uh, but uh, the mother-in-law to her father, his second wife, because her Mormon uh, American mother uh, abandoned her and the family and her husband and uh, ended up marrying some other doctor guy and they went around the world doing doctor work and finally settled in Montana I don't know where they are now but uh, <laughs> so the mother-in-law uh, had a son <laughs> and they were trying to arrange the connection between the two of them but it didn't work out and uh, and, and so uh, then that ended up with Rick <laughs> so she's taking some liberties here but I can definitely see she's projecting in this book double deceit well, this is hilarious despite her reluctance to become romantically involved with another that's what you left for you left specifically to get someone else. <laughs> Don't give me this bull of you being reluctant. She is drawn to Ryan and finds herself falling in love. <laughs> That's a rebound. But something, someone isn't happy with Elena's new life and is watching her every move. I wasn't watching you. <laughs> her tormentor seems to start determined to destroy her sanity in her future <laughs> you left me I couldn't go find you <laughs> but Helena can't convince anyone the threat is real <laughs> it's cuz you're a liar fan liar pants <laughs> Everybody knew it. <laughs> I was in the singles ward, and somebody said, "Oh yeah, I went to Canada over the last weekend." And uh, yeah, I know Stephanie. Yeah, she's a real bitch. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it was till it was too soon for me then. <laughs> I knew exactly what she meant. She was tormenting everybody in the town, demanding things, and... Uh, <laughs> Natalie is preoccupied with her own blossoming romance, and their friend Peter, a police officer, <laughs> seems to believe the threat has been manufactured in Elena's own mind as a result of her guilt and grief. Yeah, you should feel guilt and grief. Now, Elena's plans for a new start are crashing down around her. She knows she will have to find the answers before she can overcome the past. 
and she didn't. I went to get remarried after all these decades. <laughs> and she tried to pull a double deceit. Literally. She told the bishop, Oh, yes, I'm glad Travis is moving on with his life, and I'm really happy for him. Oh, by the way, <laughs> he hasn't been paying child support. <laughs> she told the, the First Presidency. And so the First Presidency came down and told the bishop, and the bishop then told me, uh, apparently she wrote the First Presidency and, and said, you still owe child support. Uh, can uh, you produce the document that, that you're not owing child support anymore? And Okay. And uh, Office of Recovery Services, yeah, I need a document. Uh, well, your case was closed. She, well, can you at least provide a document saying the case is closed? Because <laughs> I sort of need that. Okay. And so, yeah, I got the document saying the case is closed. And they even put she had said that she was okay with not wanting any more child support. She lied to the first presidency to ruin my future. <laughs> she got to have a future. She got the kids. She got the property. She got a new husband. And I got screwed. And when I finally was finally able to start working on a future, she tried to screw me some more. That's how evil she is. Unbelievable. She couldn't just let me go. <laughs> she wanted to punish me for what she did to me. That's Mormons for you. And, uh, uh, yeah. How can she protect those she loves, her children, which she doesn't really love them, when she doesn't know whom to trust. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yes, I can read into her book and go, oh, yeah, okay, that was that incident. That was that incident. <laughs> but the rest of you are like, what is she talking about? What, what, is, what, huh? So yeah, I'll give you the the picture of my daughter's wedding with uh, only her uh, and, and the kids. And then uh, let me do the, the video of McGrath to give you a tour of, of the place. Maybe I'll even include Lethbridge. So yeah, let's, let's clear the board and do that video. Okay, here's McGrath in Alberta, Canada. Uh, they've got a, a picture of a house in McGrath. That's a fairly new house, comparatively. Uh, there's some other photos down below, but it doesn't seem like much. I can give you a better tour. So let's zoom in. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know if I should try to do the the 3D zooming and all that stuff because what a pain. Okay, this road right, well, you can't see the arrow. Uh, this road going down, that takes you to the, uh, um, oh, what are they, the type of beef. <coughs> can't remember the name. They're the rich people of the the town. Uh, the dolls uh, should be one of these location here that I've got centered next to the field. His house should be somewhere over here. It's a big house. He's the the main doctor. Uh, okay, let's find a starting point. Uh, should do it where the church and the fire department is that's a good central place but 
Okay. So what the... Where is it? That should be no... See, Wink's convenience store at the top there. Uh, that was just called the store. Uh, so that's kind of confusing as to uh, why it's called Wink's convenience store. Uh, Roosters County Marketplace. Is that the store? Or is that something weirds going on? Yeah, okay. No, maybe. Because West First Avenue is the main street. And our old house, I think, is. That looks awful big. But it wasn't out there. Yeah, I think it's this house right here. But it looks awful big. It could be this house. Let's see if we can zoom in. Whoa, hello. Okay, that is uh, wrong. But I think we're on the house of her parents. Don't think it was that one, but well, maybe this isn't the street. Let's get out of this. Okay. Let's... No, don't do that. <laughs> it's giving me the same grief. <sighs> Possible they may have torn it down. It was old. And then they built some new houses because these look new er. So yeah, okay. Our home is gone, I guess. What are you doing? I don't want to zoom. <laughs> Google fix your problem. South second is uh, where they were, and I think this is their house here. Her uh, parents' old house. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And it, what? <laughs> what? How did? They, how, uh, No, this is nowhere near right. <sighs> we were even on the wrong street. What the hell? Okay, Google, how do we fix this? <laughs> are you Siri or are you uh, Alexa or what are you? <laughs> Cortana or Cortana or whatever? Somebody fix this. <laughs> I want to see, and you guys are not cooperating. How do I cancel it? <sighs> I don't want 3D. Show your location? No, I don't want to. Browse street view images. What's that going to do? Okay, nothing but put lines. <sighs> All right, let's go back over here. <laughs> now, can we zoom in? Okay, now you're letting me zoom in. Okay, oh, that's as far as we can go. All right, this would be the church right here, center screen with the big parking lot. Uh, the fire chief's house 
his uh, first house there to the right. Uh, at least he used to be the fire chief. I'm sure he's probably no longer the fire chief if he's still alive. Uh, and so the fire department. Yeah, that should be the fire department. Let's. Um, whoa! No, 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 no. That's not the fire department. That's yeah, that was the store right over here where you can see the little bar thing. Hopefully, uh, I didn't check on the other video to see if you can see these bars, but but yeah, this used to be the store because yeah, man. So okay, that we're on the. They moved the post office then, because the post office used to be further up this street here. Um, so let's do that. Oh, you're not letting me do it. Okay, yeah, this is the where the parade went down, and Clayton had to go to the bathroom at this. We were at this corner. I remember that. I, my parents took me up there uh, that summer. God. That was a painful one and only time trip. So yeah, they no longer call themselves the store. Man, okay. Let's back out of this. They probably aren't going to let me do it because of the... Tore it down and built it somewhere else. Oh man, has this place really gone to pot that much? Okay, oh, come on, guys. No. <laughs> uh. Rotate. Yeah. The, so if the Canadian Post has been moved. Because this is the church. We should be able to see the church. Yeah, see? That's the church. And that, man, that, they've... Wow. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, things have changed. And, uh... There's the seminary building. Maybe this was the... Oh, that's an empty lot. Oh, man. So, yeah, maybe this was the the old fire, house, fire station right here, and they tore it down. Oh, my God. And, yeah, and the Winks convenience store right across the street. And the doll clinic. He got a clinic. 
Oh man. I don't know or I don't know if I remember the clinic being available. The house the hospital was there. So let's follow the street up. Is this the government building? Seriously? The town of McGrath. Uh, first choice savings and credit union. I, that may have been our bank. good the blue goose gas bar yep we've gone too far where's there's this is supposed to be oh man they did away with the hospital are you kidding me are you kidding me or yeah this is it this is the hospital but they're calling it the Good Samaritan Society Garden Vista? Are you kidding me? Division number three. What is that supposed to No! It's not what I wanted. Yep. Uh, wait a minute. Why is that looking like a house? I used to mow the, these lawns and paint the buildings yeah this they've oh man this is still the old structure here but this this is all changed that was not no that oh man because it was more like all this now if we can get back to the other side Okay, yeah, there's the parking lot. Uh, bird fell from a tree and a bird's nest fell from a tree and, and little egglings. Uh, sad day. So, yep, I used to ride all over this with the riding lawnmower. And can we get closer? to the area here. No, not let me get closer. Uh, I don't recall this fence, but it may have been there, but yeah, the emergency entrance was I think either this or maybe it's so hidden behind the trees over here. Oh, man. What did they do to you? Okay, let's try this. There we go. It is. It's now the Garden Vista. It's an old folks home. They tore down the hospital. Where I had free babies. Unbelievable. That is horrifying. So now people have to go to Lethbridge? Is that the closest hospital now? What in the world has gone on? Everybody's changing. <laughs> All right, let's quickly get you out to, oh man, let's quickly get you out to uh, Lethbridge. Canola fields. Remember my 86 dream? Anybody? Anybody? Those were the fields I saw in California in my dreams in 86. And right here, one of these corners here, right around this area where the five is located there on your screen. Semi truck was coming this way. I was going to work. <laughs> McDonald's, a big snowstorm blizzard, foot of snow, and a big semi truck comes barreling by me in a little Dodge Corolla. 
and uh, almost spun me out of control. Fortunately, I knew how to handle it. Welling Community Park. They put a church there. And it should be. If not, I'm going to have to expand. Because this it was 30 minutes to get there. McGrath Apple Gates. What the? What is that? The McGraths were the Mormons who were told by Brigham Young to go settle up there. Walter Quarterhorse. And this is going on way too long. Let's find out where we are here. Okay. There's Lethbridge. I just needed to go a little bit further. Lethbridge Airport? I don't remember driving by an airport. Man. Everything changed. <coughs> okay. Go in deeper. That's as far as you're... No, 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 no. Okay. Leon, <laughs> self-storage, can we twist this, please? Okay, Mayor McGrath Drive, and Best Buy, so... Five guys. See, it's not all socialist, as you might think. They utilize a lot of capitalist stuff. Beth, Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond. Scotiabank. EB Games. Huh. Home Improvement. Lowe's Home Improvement. Lowe's Garden Center. The Brick. PetSmart. Dollarama. So... Let's see, where's Tony, there's Tony Roma's, where's McDonald's, did they finally close that place down, Mattress, Wendy's, yeah they, it used to be right on the corner as you entered into town, and I'm not seeing it here, there's Costco, that's brand new, yeah, so the McDonald's used to be right at the entrance here, in this shopping center where Best Buy is and apparently they gave up on it closed it down well that's what you guys get for firing me because I wasn't Canadian all right uh, scenic drive okay that should be is that the one that takes us to across the river to Lethbridge University no Okay, Scenic Drive is, okay, alright, gotta keep on going, Japanese Gardens, the Nika Yuko, Japanese Gardens, that place is awesome, if you ever drive by, stop there, that is awesome, see, awesome, awesome, I can't say that enough, okay, And I've probably done landscaping for many of these houses, working for Roger Stein's Roger the Shrubber. And we'll go in. And it looks like it'll let us go in one more time. Okay. Central Mall, Gold's Gym, Vehicle License and, and Registry, Shoppers Drug Mart, Smitty's. TD, Canada Trust, Bank and ATM, Fabricland, so yes, uh, Lakeview, Frozen Froyo Mill, Frozen Yogurt Bar, IHOP, Indian Kitchen, Lead Sports Medicine, Bianca Moore's Liquidation, uh, Liquidation, I think that's a, uh, yeah, 
that's similar to the other stores so that still that type of business is doing well with that in this location uh, this is your socialist economy uh, when uh, uh, trucks delivering goods to a particular store it crashes all the goods regardless of their condition are automatically worthless and uh, and you have to replace them Mayor McGrath Pizza Hut and so with the goods being worthless stores like that liquidation place will buy them at the discount and uh, then resell them so it's like a used store of stuff that's never really been used okay we're getting this is the Main Street South Parkside Drive I think or let's see gotta pull back because I worked at I think the travel lodge here as a, a chef and then they wanted me to count the money if this is the right place no it's not no wait a minute one of these streets takes us straight into the heart of Fifth Avenue that's the one yeah Fifth Avenue okay so that wasn't the place that I worked Sandman I do remember the Sandman yes indeed I think that's where my parents stayed when we went up there yeah Royal Canadian Legion branch number four that's the police department if you didn't know water tower bar and grill Capit Lethbridge Crossfit U-Haul neighborhoods dealer that's most likely where her father got the U-Haul to come get our stuff my stuff Super 8 Lethbridge 2nd Avenue okay Memories on the corner of my mind. Uh, Dodge dealership. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This McDonald's. No, that was Burger King. So they closed down the one as you enter Lethbridge, and they moved it, buying out the Burger King. The mayor of Lethbridge came to Burger King. Oh man. <sighs> and Stephanie said that uh, she was sexually assaulted by the manager of Burger King when she went to apply for work there all right oh man okay so we need to rotate how do we get this thing rotated how do we do that come on rotate rotate <laughs> no wrong way okay so wow that man okay so yes I worked there at Burger or um, yeah Burger King also I went in there uh, with a couple other guys I knew uh, who wanted to apply for work there as well and uh, they got interviewed uh, well actually the first guy uh, he went in the manager said yeah fill out an application and we'll give you a call so he filled out an application the second guy uh, who I worked with uh, the uh, majestic vacuum cleaner cells uh, division for the town area and uh, he uh, got an interview and uh, then after the interview they he was told we'll call you I then went last I got an interview and in the interview you're hired and when do you want to start so yes uh, I know exactly uh, when I've been hired or whether they don't want me okay so truth tabernacle outdoor pool Hong Kong garden I might have been there Tim Hortons loyal order of the moose Dairy Queen Grill and chill and 
residential, residential. Somewhere over here in the west is where we lived. I can't remember the address anymore, so I'm not going to try to find it. Dental center. So yeah, Dahl now has a clinic in McGrath rather than having an office at the hospital. Man, I did his landscaping. <sighs> okay. Man. Manuel Christian Secondary School. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did they tear down the stores? Because we're getting near the bridge, aren't we? Yeah, we're going across the bridge here soon. Wow, okay, so that is now gone. The That's why the other liquidations... Okay. Wow. Business is closed. Was, where's Zeller's? <laughs> There's supposed to be a Zeller's. What's going on? <laughs> Zeller's was the you know, the Walmart of Canada. Are you kidding me? They got rid of... Their... Okay. I don't remember it being in this location, but here's the other McDonald's. Another Dodge. <laughs> All these sell is Dodges. So, yes, it makes sense why my... Uh, Stephanie would have... Uh, bring a Dodge uh, Chrysler and, or Dodge, what was it? It was a tiny little thing. RC Steel Miracle Channel? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Marshall's Fabrics. Yeah, I, oh my God. They destroyed my landscaping work at Zeller's. Getting, oh man! Southern irrigation. Yeah, they. It's gone. It's gone. Unbelievable. Zellers is gone. Okay. And across the river here. Um, excuse me, where's Lethbridge? <laughs> where's the university? Um, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> what? They still have University Drive, but it, this looks like a, a pothole. What is going on? Oh my god, they tore down my university. What the hell? It's now an archaeological dig. <laughs> what is going on? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'd leave the place for a couple of decades. <laughs> this was the university. Unbelievable. This, the, this used to overlook... Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going through trauma right now. <laughs> Anything involving my first ex is trauma. This is unbelievable. The fire station, the hospital, the university, McDonald's. <laughs> is reality even real anymore? Oh my God. So it, Calgary is now the university. You, Lethbridge is gone. So where is my transcripts? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Unbelievable. The university is gone. It's wiped off the face of the map. And I don't see anything near to be considered. All subdivisions. Nah. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is a trauma for me. I'm going to go cry. <laughs> oh, for 
Mormons, uh, you'll be interested to know, unless that too is gone. <laughs> Let's get on to the scenic route, on the scenic road. Man. Okay, the NMAX Center is most likely it. Okay. Oh, look. There's a Chevrolet Cadillac. Whew, not just Dodge after all. <laughs> yep, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, wow. Oh, man. So... Yeah, the, either the NMAX Center or uh, the church, and I'm thinking it was the center because they needed more space for people. Because Thomas S. Monson came and spoke, and I'm pretty sure it was this place. They would have had to have taken down the hockey rink and uh, put up chairs and stuff. Uh, but, uh, oh, man... Unbelievable. So yeah, this is the Canadian team here, uh, the Lethbridge team. I have no idea who they are, uh, but hockey is all they talk about on the news first and foremost for most of the show, and then the rest of the show is about the Queen of England, <laughs> the royal family. <laughs> oh, whoops, I forgot. They also talk about the weather. <laughs> So first they talk about hockey and the, the situation with hockey, whether they're in season or not. And then they talk about the weather. Then they talk about the queen. <laughs> That's your news every day, all day. <laughs> but yeah, this is the center where Thomas S. Monson uh, got up and gave his talk, which he then repeated in conference. Uh, as an apostle, not as the president of the church yet, I don't believe. Uh, but he was an, definitely an apostle when he gave the talk. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure he gave it as an apostle as in conference. But it's uh, his uh, story of the uh, magpies, uh, baby magpies in the tree that were chirping all the time. And the guy called Monson as to what to do. Because the guy was saying, you know, I don't want to kill these animals, uh, but they're chirping all the time and causing a real problem. What do I do? And then Monson, at this center, the NMAX Center, which I think it was called a different name back then, but uh, regardless, that was when he put in, in his original talk that he gave to us in Canada, and it would have been back in the early 90s, uh, 92 or 94 or something like that. Uh, well, I don't know if... No, not, it wouldn't... Yeah. Cause, yeah, okay. 94 to 96. But uh, uh, he said, uh, I didn't tell him this, uh, but I, if I were to uh, do... If I had this problem, I would have just shot the birds. The whole audience went, <gasps> <laughs> they were horrified that Monson's solution to the bird problem was to shoot them. <laughs> and so in conference, he leaves that part out. <laughs> but all we Canadians, A, eh, we remember. So, yeah, Monson is a bird hater, and uh, as for the record, I am a bird lover. I've always been a bird lover. It may have been because of uh, Mr. Child's class in Michigan at Miller Elementary. Uh, he had us uh, draw pictures of birds as part of our little book entry things that he was trying to have us do. So, yeah, it, he was awesome as a first grade teacher. We were all over the place doing all sorts of stuff, learning all sorts of things, and, and having us do it if we were at that level. And so that's where my art began, was with Mr. Childs. 
and uh, and so when we moved to California in Placentia, Mom bought some uh, how to draw books, recognizing the uh, talent that he had put in, into me. So yeah, <laughs> I'm a bird lover, even though I was born the year of the dog, and so Snoopy has been a childhood favorite my whole time. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's something about birds uh, that uh, has me captivated. So, yeah, and yes, cats are fine too, uh, but uh, cats kill me. <laughs> so, I stay away from cats as much as I can. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, little kittens are awesome. You give them chicken nuggets, and, uh, and they go to town. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're lion and lioness instincts kick into gear and they just rip apart the chicken nugget and go to town devouring it just little babies it's so cute <laughs> so and yes i saw little kittens chase uh, <laughs> it was either a, a possum i think or a raccoon uh, armadillo maybe but uh whatever it was it was hard as a rock but yet these little kittens chased it up our front door the, the thing was able to climb up the door and get onto the roof but it was hanging there and the kittens were down below scaring it to death and the mother was uh, just hanging back by the the cars in the driveway watching proudly her little kittens scare this whatever it was raccoon possum enchilada whatever uh, but yeah it was hilarious i had to go get the get a broom to to get it off of the roof and even then it was it was it was stuff uh, stuff <laughs> it was hard hard as a rock and uh you know even for me i was doing weights at that time and it was still it was tough getting that thing that's what i wanted to say tough <laughs> <laughs> it was a real challenge to get it down without hurting it and uh, it finally did come down and, and ran around the back of the house as the kittens were in hot pursuit <laughs> the mother didn't even bother to to follow she knew her kittens had it well in hand <laughs> so Yes, kittens can be awesome too. Cats can be awesome too. So, yes, I'm an animal lover and I talk to animals. And they look at me as if they understand and yet respond as if they think I'm just talking in the wind. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> my, there you go. There's my first wife childhood trauma. 